Hello Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here with me. Today we're going to be looking at who has a crush on you, who's got their eyes on you, Air Signs. We'll see what we can learn about who this person is and the messages they're coming across with. So let's get straight into the reading. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe or sign up for membership um, and we'll see what is coming up around this person. Who has their eyes on you? How is this person coming across to you? Air signs. Okay, we've got the priestess of enchantment. I feel like this is someone who you know, and it's someone who once upon a time you might have had a crush on them. Could very much be an active crush. I feel like in one way you are inspired by this person, or when you see them, you get a certain feeling with the priestess of enchantment. Now, February 18th to March 17th, dates are coming up, so it could be someone who's born around this time. Um, so you're looking at, uh, you're looking at Aquarius slash Aries. So this person could be under one of these signs. The blue cloak though, could be a water sign as well. And we have the seahorse. So Cancer Pisces Scorpio also comes up. Um, but I feel like this is someone who it's like you've watched them or you see them. You have some sort of connection here, air sign. So it's like you guys are connected on social media, um, They've enchanted you. They've done something here for you. Maybe they've done a favor for you. You might have dated this person um, as well. It might have been a very brief connection, but it's coming up here for them. Let's see what else we can learn. Okay, it's a, it's a spiritual person, I feel. It's got spiritual energy. Okay, I feel like there's someone who you have had communication with. You guys, like, this person checks in with you. Um, Queen of Swords energy. This person checks in with you somehow, or this person asks other people about you. So I'm picking up this thing like you you hear from this person, they hear about you, um, and they sort of want to know more about you as, as time and time goes by. They've got a shy energy with the Eight of Swords, though, I feel. Queen of Swords it's like they're part of a gossip group or you know them through friends of mutual friends type thing, sort of at a distance to you. You know each other, but I feel like with the Eight of Swords, you make them very, very nervous. Okay, they're very shy to approach you. Um, Ten of Swords is reversed, so I don't feel like you guys have a history, at least not like a messy history. I'm not picking up an energy where you guys dated or, you know, you had these ups and downs. It was more like I get that this is a friend slash flirtation um, that's coming forward here. Seven of Cups energy. This person has given you mixed signals before. So I'm picking up a vibe that this person has been unsure of their feelings. Or you get a connection from this person. Like one time you speak, they're super friendly. They're super flirty. Next day you speak, they're not so friendly. They're not so flirty. Um, so that's... That's interesting in the, uh, in itself. They could be in um, exports and um, uh, imports and exports, or they have like a mobility. Um, they move around a lot. So I'm getting like, maybe if you work with this person, for example, they're not always stationed at your workplace. They have other, they have like other places to go to, or maybe they move around locations or offices. They're not based, um, yeah, they're not based in that one place. That's the vibe I'm getting from that. So they kind of like move around a lot, frequently move around. Queen of Swords, I get, I want to say that this person, you've heard rumors about them. So you know who they are. Someone's gossiped, someone's come to you and said, oh my God, guess what? This person has a crush on you or guess what? So-and-so did. So it's like, you know of this person, but it's, they've always been at a distance to you. Um, but they're curious about you. They're curious, yet they're shy. They may come forward in February 18th to March 17th. Okay, Queen of Swords here is coming up reversed. Okay, I feel like they're going to be in your future. So this is not like the last time you'll you'll hear from them or you'll see them. Queen of Swords is upright in one spread and then it's down in the other. So it makes me feel like 
I get that this is someone you might have been speaking to. Could be recently. You could potentially hear in the, like the seeing stage, the courting stage, you were sort of getting to know each other and then something dropped off suddenly. Um, Ace of Pentacles, the opportunity didn't come up for whatever reason, air signs. You got back with an ex, you moved countries, you started a new job, they got with their ex. Something happened and it didn't let that Ace of Pentacles, that opportunity to connect with each other, it didn't surface for some reason. Um, and one of you had to turn away. So there was a flirtation. You were like borderline already maybe sort of, you might have even been on a couple of dates, maybe three dates. Um, but then... Yeah, I, I get a vibe that something happened and you couldn't connect, you couldn't connect further with this person. Okay, so they're more a reserved energy, but they really look after themselves with that enchanting energy. So maybe they like to work out a lot. Um, maybe they competed uh, nationally or internationally for a particular sport. Um, maybe they have an online um, social media page and they have a lot of followers People appreciate something that this person does out in the community, maybe out in the social media world. They are appreciated for what they do. I get that this person might be around your age or older. I also get that they may be foreign. They could be um, from a different culture, nationality. They might have been an expat here. You might have met this person on travels or they traveled out and you guys connected, but they have a foreign link. And I feel like they could be at a distance to you with the three of wands. It could be like a long distance thing. So maybe now you only know each other online. Um, wouldn't be surprised if they have air in their chart as well though, especially Aquarius energy. But I do get they're more reserved. They're not really that open. I feel like they've got a close few friends, best friends that they stick with. Um, I feel like they're not really like overly outgoing. They're more conservative. They're more reserved. Um, they're not overly loud. Um, but there's something about them. Notice this sun here. Something about them that radiates like their sun. It could be they have majestic eyes, they have a beautiful beaming smile, they just have this aura that lights up a room when they walk in. So they could be quite warm and engaging and friendly. They have a warmth to them. Um, I feel like you've got you've sort of been having an eye out on each other for quite some time though. But like I said, it's always been a missed opportunity or the opportunity has never come up fully as much as you would have liked it to. But that's not to say it can't happen in the future. So keep an eye out because I feel like this person is going to show more and more interest. So um, I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Air Science. Thank you again, everyone, so much for tuning in. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'm sure I'll catch you all soon. So thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.